Good morning, we are in Ganna Park Road at number five at this mid-terrace period property. Um, Ganna Park Road is one of the Peveril roads um, in the Peveril Ladder, just up from the allotments and Central Park, as you can see at the end of the road there. And then towards the end of the road at the top there is, um, again, access to Peveril and back up towards out the road. So, really nice appealing frontage here. I've got it all plastered and painted. Round cast iron fence, which surrounds with gate, which leads you through to the entrance path. Nice decorative stone chippings. Place area for planters. And then tiled flooring, which leads you to the door. Straight into the property. So, immediately into the property, lovely width on the hallway. We've got a nice vestibule area for coats and hats. Uh, and then we have some original sort of tying there and detailing. Original stained glass wooden door, which leads through to the hallway with stairs rising, neutrally carpeted and neutrally decorated, which you'll find, find throughout the rest of the property as well. Um, parquet inset flooring on the floor and then some decorative radiators, storage under the stairs and then splits off into two doors. The first one, strip wood internal door leading through to really delightful sized room, nice box bay window to the front, um, nicely neutrally decorated throughout lovely size area, lovely ceiling height as well. This has been nicely finished with a nice living flame gas fire into the chimney breast with original tiled inserts and half and surround. Back into the hallway, we've got door given access to the rear of the property, large space, which opens into a large dining space. We do have a wood burner inset into the chimney breast there as well. Some original cupboards, loads of storage and display space there also. And then a similar space on the other chimney breast. And this time we've got a double big American fridge freezer in that space. Parquet flooring, continuation from the hallway, and then opens into the kitchen area. Again, nicely fitted, shaker style, modern units. Rollers work surface over. We've got a gas hob with extractor fan over and electric oven below. One and a half bowl sink with drainer. And then space for washing machine plumbing there as well. Uh, door gives access to the rear from here, which we should go out and have a look at, look at now. So PVC double glazed door, steps lead down with handrail to the side into a nice, very private little patio area. And then we have a storage shed, which has got ample storage space. Again, nicely tucked away, nice and dry area. And then the other side, uh, which was the original downstairs, Outside loo, we have a good utility sink, plumbing for washing machine, and tumble dryer over there also. Really nice space for tools and potting plants. And then into the garden itself, patio leads off onto a lawn area with stepping stones, leading to the rear gate and service lane. Nice private position, so south is there, so you're gonna get it in different uh, times of the day. Comes up again about, yes, yeah, as I said, 12 into this area. And then by the time it's later into the afternoon, you've got to get scorching into this area on the patio, which is lovely. And being private as well, it's very nice. And then we also have a seating area to the corner to make the most of the morning sun and a sheltered area there also. Okay, so 
back inside. Back up the steps. Go back into the hallway. Love that door. Very nice feature. So, as I said, neutrally decorated carpeting leads you up to the landing. First thing we come to is to the right hand side, which is a not massively spacious, but very compact, very nicely designed three piece suite in here. We've got pedestal hand wash basin, low level WC, and shower bath. Nice shower screen there and lovely large shower head, waterfall, so that's off uh, mains. Beautiful tiling here also, nicely and contemporary. We also have a shaver point there as well, which is a, not, not too very often. Um, and nice modern suite. Again, strip wooden doors, which you'll find throughout the rest of the property. First bedroom we come to. Um, both these bedrooms are of really good size, double um, strip wood flooring in this one. Um, as you can see, ample space for large frame bed, PVC double glazed window to the rear, and then we've got two built-in cupboards into the chimney recess, which are both have both been stripped back, which is quite nice, strip wood doors, back onto the landing. Main bedroom, I'd say, to the front, which makes benefit of the bay window. Beautiful, light and spacious room. We have original decorative um, fire with original fire surround. Great inset tiles. And then, as I said before, really nice, large bay window. I can see myself just reading a book from there. Nice, quiet road. And the bedroom with some peaceful space. And the final room, the third bedroom, is a small room, often a study or small child's bedroom. Um, this is a dressing room. So we've got some fairly large sort of units in here, which are freestanding, so you can be taken away. Um, but again, good size third bedroom there as well. Um, not double, but uh, sort of adequate size. So there we are. That's the property at 5 Ganna Park Road. Um, typical example of a um, really well-loved, well-cared-for period Peveril terraced home. Um, with obviously, as you can see, ample original features still in situ and a good mix of, of old and new. Property is available on the market now. Give the office a call on 01752 229 292. Be more than happy to show you around and, uh, and make this a lovely home. Thank you.